Welcome back. Now it is time for the long anticipated part two journey on the Henry Higgins muscle and strength course. Enjoy. So I made it through the second lesson of this course utilizing the 25 pound dumbbell. Now it's time for the next lesson. If you're new to this channel, what I'm doing is following a method where the author claimed that in less than a year's time, you can clean and press a 140 pound dumbbell over your head. His student was able to lift a 211 pound dumbbell over his head and he was only 20 years old, weighing only 145 pounds. So I wanted to try this method out. Um, this is part two again. And he claims in his book that he was able to train students to be able to lift 100 to 200 pounds over their head. So I'm putting the system to the test. Subscribe, like, and comment. Remember, this is a year-long journey, so I will see you at the end of the year, and let's get into it. All right, so I did try this method out the other day, and what I found out is that it's actually quite a bit of a jump going from the 25-pound dumbbell up to the 50-pound dumbbell. Now, when I was doing it, I was actually struggling in the beginning, so when the author claimed that it shouldn't be such a, you know, far-out transition to get from the 25 to the 50-pound dumbbell, um, but for me personally, I noticed that it was actually hard going up from the 25-pound to the 50-pound dumbbell. And you can actually see in the video that I'm about to show you where I'm a little struggling just a little bit, but I think that as time goes by, my body will adjust, you know, if I just keep doing it every single day. This is all based on the process of working out every single day, but doing it in a smart way. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the part one journey that I had. So in the part one journey, I did do it every single day. I was consistent in that respect. Um, I was also able to complete that journey. Now, one thing I did want to mention in the part one level is that it was pretty easy because I've been lifting weights for quite some time, so 25 pound dumbbell is not that difficult at all. So basically I'd have you know the weight right here and then the two handles and I'd be using it like that. So 25 pound dumbbell on each side wasn't that difficult at all. Now, when I did do the part two level, I did want to mention that it actually was increasingly, and I will admit, very difficult going from the 25 pound dumbbell up to the 50 pound dumbbell. I mean, it was pretty exhausting. After the exercises with the 50 pound dumbbell, I actually felt very, very, very exhausted compared to the lesson one where I could complete it probably within about seven minutes or so. So it's about a seven minute workout and you know, I wouldn't get too exhausted. There would be a little sweat dripping down, but it wasn't anything compared to the second lesson that I'm doing today. The second lesson is actually pretty tiring. You have to warm up for it. At least I have to warm up for it. And it's a good workout. So one thing I did want to mention was I did get these weights the other day. Um, I got a pretty good deal on them. I got, I believe it was, it was 100 pounds for only $35. I know if you went, I know that online I was looking at new weights to buy for this specific program, and the weights were probably about you could get them $200 for 100 pounds. But I just typed in weights up on OfferUp, and I was able to luckily and thankfully locate a person that was selling 100 pound dumbbells for only $35. I did want to mention also that the dumbbell that I'm using in this system is a little different from your average dumbbell that you would use at your local gym. I did go to my local gym the other day. I was able to perform these exercises a lot more easier with the ones that were at the gym. That being said, I think it's because the ones I'm going to show you guys in the video, they're actually um, they're pretty they're you know they're actually pretty big compared to the dumbbell. But uh, I will show you guys that in the video. Just take another look at that as well. So in this video here, what I'll be doing for you guys is showing you the, the level two. And this right here will be the first 10 days of the part two program. In the second 10 days, what we'll do is we will double this amount of 
of reps. And then for the next 22 days, we will add one half that number. And the author does state we do need to be taking rest throughout this period. So enough talking. Now what I'm going to do is show you guys the dumbbell and the exercises. Enjoy. All right, so there you have it. That is the part two journey on my Henry Higgins muscle and strength course. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Again, this is a year long journey. So I will see you guys in the next episode for part three.